Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that Cognizant has started its hiring for 2025 batch on campus. Okay, and they have different clusters as well as they have aptitude rounds also. So guys, on this channel that is Code Bashers, we are starting the preparation series for Cognizant, wherein we will discuss the previously asked question of Cognizant for each of the sections. Today in this video, I will be discussing about the quantitative and logical reasoning questions. Okay, but in future videos, I will be covering all the topics of the clusters, whether it is Java coding question, whether it is SQL questions, whether it is Python MCQ, C hash coding questions, all these things I will be discussing in this preparation series in future. Make sure to watch this video till the end because all the questions will be from the previously asked cognizant questions only. Okay, and do make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because <coughs> regularly we will be uploading videos for your preparation and make sure to join this telegram group also wherein this is dedicated group for 2025 by students all the discussion wherein different different companies and exam dates are happening here if you have any doubts you can ask here the link of this telegram group you will find in the description box so guys now let's start this video okay so guys before moving ahead if you do not know from where you should prepare for the cognizant exam then on our top mid page of code bashers what we have we have <coughs> cognizant gen c Gen C Pro, Gen C Next exam preparation material. Inside this material, we have covered all the sections that are there in the exam. That is aptitude questions, Java cluster questions, Python cluster questions, and C hash cluster questions. So once you will get this material, you will find that for every cluster, we have a dedicated separate PDF in which we have discussed previously asked questions from that particular section. Okay. So if I will show you a sample of, let's suppose, cognizant quantitative PDF. So you will see that we have proper questions, we have answers and we have options as well. All these questions are from previously asked cognizant exam only. And if I will show you, let's suppose SQL uh, PDF. So you will find that we have a proper question. We have tables and then we have the answers also for that question. So everything is discussed in these minute material are from the previous year cognizant only. So if you think that this material can help you, then you can check out this material. The links are in the description box. And you can use the coupon code for first 50 for getting 15% discount on this particular material. Okay. So all the relevant links you'll find in the description box. Now let's continue the video. Okay. So guys, the first question is A and B can complete a piece of work in 12 days and 15 days respectively. They work together for five days and then A leaves. How many more days will B take to complete the remaining work? So let's just see uh, A one day work. So one is one by 12 by 12, one divided by 12. And B's one day work is 1 divided by 15. Okay. Now they work together for 5 days. So how much total work they do? So A does 5 by 12 plus B do 5 by 15. So what is the total amount of work? So let's just, <coughs> what is their, what will be their multiple? Their multiple will be 60. Okay. So 12 uh, into 5, that is 25 plus 5 into 4, that is 20 divided by 60. So 45 by 60 is the amount of work they have done. Let's see, it will be, uh, what it will be, it will be 3 by 4. 3 by 4 work they have done together. Okay, now how many more days will B take to complete the remaining work? So what is the remaining work? First of all, remaining work is 1 by 4. And how much work B can D do in one day? It is 1 by 15. So it will be 15 by 4. So approx, it will be 4 days. So answer will be 4. That 4 more days B will take to complete this work. So I hope it's clear to you. Next, uh, let's move ahead. <clears throat> so the cost price of 10 articles is equal to the selling price of eight articles. What is the profit percentage? Okay. The cost price of 10 articles is equivalent to the selling. Let's suppose 10 articles are of 100 rupees. Okay. So uh, one article is of 10 rupees. Now selling price of eight articles is 100. So selling price of one article is 100 divided by 8, that is 50 by 4, 25 by 2, okay, that is 12.5. So, uh, yeah, yeah, 12.5. So, see, what is the profit percentage? It will be, we are buying at 10, selling at 12.5. So, for one article, how much we are earning? We are earning 25%. So, 25% is the right answer for this particular question. I hope this question is also clear to you. Next question is, a tap can fill a tank in 12 hours while another can empty it in 18 hours. 
if both taps are opened simultaneously in how many hours will the tank be filled okay now see a tap is filling the entire tank in 12 hours so in one hour how much tank is getting filled it is 1 by 12 okay this is how much a tank is getting filled in one hour now while a tank is getting empty in 18 hours so in one hour how much tank is getting emptied okay so now if the both taps are opened simultaneously in how many hours will the tank be filled so what it means it means that see if in a particular hour this is the amount of water going inside the tank and this is the amount of water uh, flowing out of the tank so what is the net change in <coughs> uh, ch net change in the tank that how much water is kept in the tank so we'll simply subtract it so answer will be 3 minus 2 divided by 36 1 by 36 so it means that in a in a particular hour this much amount of water is getting filled when both of these tanks are opened so how much time it will take to fill entire tank it will be 36 hours so answer is a that is 36 hours i hope this question is also get cleared <clears throat> okay yeah next question is two trains of length 120 meter and 180 meter are running in opposite direction at speed 60 km per hour and 90 km per hour respectively how long will it take for these two trains to pass each other completely now see this particular question i want you to solve okay and give me the correct answer in the description box and please explain also that what is the idea you have behind this question okay it's very simple but i want you to solve it okay and do write your answer in the comment section and your approach also so yeah let's move toward the next question next is a man's salary was increased by 10 percent and then decreased by 10 percent what is the next net percentage change in his salary so let's suppose the salary of the person was 100 first it got increased by 10 percent so it become 1110 now it got decreased by 10 percent so it become 99 so initially it was 100 now it has become 99 so how what is the net change percentage it is minus 1 percent so 1 percent decrease is the answer so this is one percent decrease okay i hope this question is clear to you next is the length of a rectangle is increased by 20 percent and its breadth is increased by 10 percent what is the effect on the area so again let's just uh, see length and breadth both be 100 length is 100 breadth is 100 so area of the rectangle is 2 into length into breadth sorry area will be length length into breadth so it will be 10,000 okay now we are increasing uh, length by 20 percent so length becomes 120 and breadth becomes 110 because we are increasing it by 10 percent so 120 into 110 what is the answer so 12 into 11 is what is 12 1 3 2 triple 0 okay and earlier it became 13,200 and earlier it was 10,000 so how much is it increased <clears throat> so uh, oh sorry it was decreased i am i am really sorry it was decreased breadth was decreased to 90 percent so it becomes 10 percent so it becomes 90 so 120 into 90 120 into 90 12 into 9 is 36 yeah the 30 uh, sorry 12 into 9 is 10800 so earlier it was 10000 now it was 10800 so 8 percent so 8% is, is increase, increase by 8%. This is the correct answer for this question. <clears throat> so I hope it's clear to you. And guys, if you're finding this video informative, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not done it till now. And do join the Telegram group that is dedicated for 2025 batch students. Okay, the links are in the description box. Next is, our car depreciates 15% annually. If the car is worth 60,000 now, what was it worth three years ago? So every year, 15% it's depreciating so what you want to hear is you want to uh, this is a compound interest question so what you can do you can do hit and trial here you can take 85,000 then do minus 15 percent then do minus 15 percent then do minus 15 percent and then finally if you are achieving 60,000 then 85,000 is the answer if you are achieving if you are like uh, for everything you have for every option you will have to do like this okay you can use the calculator that is not an issue but the correct answer here will be d 92000 okay 92000 is the correct option here you just have to depreciate it 15 percent by three years continuously so i hope this question is also clear to you now these are all the questions that were discussed i wanted to discuss in the quantitative region that is the aptitude region now let's just move towards the logical reasoning part of this video okay and again before moving ahead 
make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and guys as i have told you earlier if you want to prepare for your cognizant <coughs> exam then this particular material can be beneficial for you because it contains all the previously asked questions of every section that are coming in cognizant whether it is uh, quantitative and logical reasoning whether it is java coding questions python mcqs python coding questions all these things that are mentioned here are curated into a well structured pdfs in which you will be getting all the previously asked questions answers and options as well you can see here this is a sql one so if you think that this might be beneficial for you the links are in the description box and for for first 50 people it is there is a 15% discount the coupon code is given in the description box so guys now let's move towards the logical reasoning part of this video okay so guys now now some logical reasoning questions so if star is coded as tubs how moon is coded so if you look closely that what is how star is coded as tub so s next word is t then t next word is q right s t u v then we have a next word will be b so just we are skipping one word and moving ahead and next is r then simply s similarly if we try to code moon so moon m next word will be n o will be p again o will be p n next word will be uh, m n o yeah so this is the correct output n double p o n double p o so i hope this question is also clear to you let's move ahead pointing to a photograph ravi said she is the mother of my father's only daughter so pointing to a photograph ravi said she is the mother of my father's only daughter so my father's okay my father only daughter okay and then she is the mother so she is the mother okay and these were the husband wife and they, this is ravi so how is the lady in the photograph related to ravi so she is her mother okay she is her mother so i hope it's clear to you next is six people a b c d e f are sitting in a line b is to the left of c and d oh sorry b is to the left of c so b or c are something like this d is to the right of e so d is to the right of e okay sorry b oh sorry d is to the right of e so e d a is between b and d a is between b and d so e d like this we have who is the immediate right of c so immediate right of c who is remaining f so answer will be f only f is remaining that's why the answer is f here i hope this question is also clear to you next is if first january 2021 was friday what day of the week we have first january 2025 now see in a normal year if first january is friday okay then next year first january will be saturday okay we just have one day ahead in a normal year so it will be 2021 this will be 2022 then 2023 comes it will be sunday then 2024 comes it will be monday but then 2024 is a leap year so once 2025 comes we will move two days ahead monday tuesday wednesday so the correct answer here will be wednesday okay yeah so i hope it's clear to you okay in normal in normal year we just move one day ahead every year okay let's move ahead what come next in the series 5 11 23 47 you will look closely the difference is 6 12 and then their difference is 24 then the difference will be 48 so 47 plus 48 will give you 95 okay yeah let's move ahead towards the next question <clears throat> how many fours are there in the sequence below which are immediately followed by a number less than 5 so let's just see so we have 4 it is followed by 3 so is 3 less than 5 so answer is yes so 1 4 we have this 4 we have this 4 next comes 2 so 2 is less than 5 yes so this 4 also we will count then this 4 comes next number is 7 it is greater than 5 so it we will not count this 4 next this 4 next number is 1 so we will count this 4 next this 4 next number is 0 less than 5 we will have this 4 so answer will be total 4 four 4s we have so answer is c here okay so yeah the last question of this video is <clears throat> which number replaces the question mark in the following series 3 9 27 81 if you will follow the pattern it will be 3 into 1 then 3 into 2 
then 3 into 3 sorry uh, sorry 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 it's not the pattern it's just 3 to the power 1 3 to the power 2 3 to the power 3 then 3 to the power 4 then we come 3 to the power 5 so it will be 9 it will be sorry it will be 3 9 27 81 243 so this is the correct b1 so this is the correct option here b is 243 so i hope all the questions that i have discussed in this video are like clear to you okay if you want more such videos of like any section that will be coming in your cognitive exam you can always write in the comment section i will be happy to make it this is the preparation series that in, that is going on and every <clears throat> section i will be covering in future so make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this youtube channel okay what i will do i will make a dedicated playlist also okay i will add this video to that playlist so once you you watch this do check out that for playlist and you will see other videos also and make sure to join this telegram group it is dedicated for 2025 batch students okay and as i have told you earlier also like if you want to know where should to, you should prepare you want any cognizant exam material then you can check out the top mid page of our and you can see we have five out of five rating of this material and here all the sections dedicated pdf you will get wherein all the question and answer discussed have been previously asked in the cognizant exam so this was all for this video thank you for watching this video